Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Before the United States imposed sanctions, Huawei's mobile phones were developing very well. Even Apple lost its temper and repeatedly lost its second place in the world in terms of shipments. Huawei caught up in 5G and chip design, so the United States imposed multiple rounds of sanctions. This caused TSMC to stop foundry manufacturing, and Huawei fell into a difficult period of three years of core shortage. The reason was that the mainland could not buy high-end photolithography machines and was unable to achieve high-end chip production. Recently, Huawei officially announced a major breakthrough, and the situation has begun to change. In the field of semiconductors, China started late, and later encountered many setbacks in its development. As a result, China's chips mainly relied on imports. In recent years, the import value of chips has exceeded 400 billion US dollars, surpassing oil to become the number one imported product. Therefore, many American chip giants have come to the mainland to do business and make a lot of money with their advanced chip technology. Chips have become a major weakness of China. When China wants to develop chips, it is often looked down upon by others. For example, Shanghai Microelectronics once went to the Netherlands to study and was ridiculed. Even if it gave the drawings to China, it could not build a photolithography machine. Not only that, in order to continue to extract high profits from China, the West also jointly formulated the Wassena Agreement to restrict the export of advanced technologies such as semiconductors to China. This has brought many difficulties to China's development of semiconductor and other technologies. Under such circumstances, Chinese companies have embarked on the road of self-research. Shanghai Microelectronics continues to strengthen self-research and has also produced its own lithography machines. The packaging and testing lithography machines account for 80% of the domestic market and 40% of the global market. Although the lithography machine process for chip manufacturing has only reached 90 nanometers, it is still working on the more advanced 28 nanometers immersion lithography machine. If there is a breakthrough in this 28 nanometers immersion lithography machine, China's independent chip industry chain will be able to produce advanced domestic 7 nanometers processes. 7 nanometers chips can solve about 90% of chip problems, so sanctions are meaningless. So what is the progress of this? I only heard that we have been jointly tackling difficulties since last year. Some time ago, Taiwanese media reported that there was new progress, and Shanghai Microelectronics will launch advanced photolithography machines. As for whether it can be trusted, there was no news later. However, it is worth mentioning that Huawei's self-developed Kirin chips have recently returned and are determined to be produced by the mainland industry chain. The key is that Huawei has not announced relevant information about Kirin chips, probably to protect the relevant industrial chain. However, the return of Kirin has caused quite a stir. Many media have jointly analyzed the dismantling agency, and the United States has also conducted investigations. However, they are still unclear about the situation. However, it can be confirmed that the returned Kirin is indeed made of advanced processes and is produced in mainland China. I'm afraid ASML knows better than anyone whether it uses ASML's lithography machines. However, 
ASML, has not said anything to the outside world. It has only been accelerating the shipment of lithography machines to Chinese companies. In the third quarter, the revenue from mainland China increased to 46%. The reason why ASML operates in this way is that the United States continues to increase restrictions and ASML strives to take advantage of the limited time. Second, because the global chip situation continues to decline, major wafer fabs have slowed down their production expansion, but mainland China is still accelerating expansion. Third, they may have learned that domestic lithography machines are about to break through, or have already broken through. If they do not ship any more, they will lose more markets. That's not all. What ASML didn't expect was that the media recently broke another blockbuster news. A technology patent related to lithography machines jointly developed by Huawei and Shanghai Microelectronics, led by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, was officially released to the public. Announced. Although it is only a patent, it is of great significance. On the one hand, it shows that domestic semiconductor-related technologies have made new breakthroughs. On the other hand, it can be seen that domestic companies have begun joint research and development and are committed to breaking through chip-stuck technology. Especially after Huawei was sanctioned, the independent research and development of semiconductors has become unprecedentedly popular. Huawei has previously issued EUV-related technology patents. Harbin Institute of Technology has made a breakthrough in EUV light source technology, and the Institute of Optics and Mechanics under the Chinese Academy of Sciences has also made related breakthroughs. This has laid a solid foundation for domestic advanced lithography machines and even EUV and will definitely accelerate the realization of domestic lithography machines. Previously, China had always pinned its hopes on the realization of globalization, and the idea of making is worse than buying was once popular. However, the US chip restrictions directly awakened China and made it understand that external dependence was simply not feasible and that it could only build its own chip industry chain. Although the breakthrough process of lithography machines is very difficult, the return of Huawei Kirin and the announcement of patents have given China impetus. I believe that China will definitely break through the high-end lithography machines, completely solve the bottleneck, and maybe even catch up with the lithography giant ASML. In this regard, some foreign media directly stated that the trend of ASML is over, and various situations indicate that it will lose more markets in the future.